Hey. Hello. <laughs> We're in. We came from Dalia Place. Ayan, sa baba. Ang taas na. In New Zealand, you might experience four seasons in one day. It's possible to start your day off with blue sky and sunshine but arrive at your destination in rain oh, and hail. It's raining. Because of this, weather-related hazards on the road can occur at any time. In New Zealand, most of the roads are often narrow, hilly, and windy with plenty of sharp corners. Yo! What are you doing? Auckland's public transport is a great way to get around. It's easy to travel by train, bus, or ferry throughout the inner city and the wider region, with regular routes to most major attractions and their main shopping, dining, and entertainment precincts. Buses are the cheapest and most common form of public transport available for traveling between towns and cities. Intercity and Skip are the two main providers for this service, and fares start from around $10 NZ. Although not public transport, hop-on, hop-off buses are also a popular way to get around New Zealand, especially among backpackers. Choose your pass and make up your itinerary as you go along. This is Sky Tower. The Sky Tower is a telecommunications and observation tower in Auckland, New Zealand. Located at the corner of Victoria and Federal Streets within the city's CBD, it is 328 meters or 1,076 feet tall as measured from the ground level to the top of the mast. Making it the second tallest freestanding structure in the Southern Hemisphere and the 27th tallest tower in the world. It has become an iconic landmark in Auckland's skyline due to its height and design. Hello. We are now in Sky Tower. As you can see, there is a 360-degree view, and also the floor is a glass. With a 38 millimeter thickness of glass. This one is just glass. <laughs> so take a look at the view here in the sky tower. This is City Rail Link, a 3.5 km long double track rail tunnel underneath Auckland City Centre between Baltimore Transport Centre and Mount Eden Railway Station.
At Gamble's Bay, there is a scenic seashore walk that takes you along a coastal pipeline and the beaches. It is via Mairangi Bay and Murray's Bay. Ideally, this path is accessible when the tide is out, so you will be able to walk along the pipeline and beaches. During the summer days, without the wind or waves, you can get over the pipeline at the high tide. You can park your car at the Campbell's Bay and the kids can enjoy the playground too. In Mairangi Bay, it is a short level walk along the road away from the surf club building to the local cafes, shops, and fence playground. In Murray's Bay, you can enjoy a coffee at the cafe and watch the sailing club activities. Long Bay is a suburb of North Shore, part of the Auckland metropolitan area in northern New Zealand. The coastline is occupied by the Long Bay Regional Park and the shoreline is in the Long Bay Okura Marine Reserve, which opened in 1995. The one kilometer long beach is sandy and it is ideal for swimming. It is relatively safe as well. It offers forest walks and scenic cliffs and you can even enjoy picnic with your family and friends. Moriway's Gannett Colony is a one-hour drive from the center of Auckland. Next to the car park, a short walking track leads to a viewing platform right above the main colony area. Out to sea, the colony continues on two vertical-sided islands. About 1,200 pairs of gannets nest here from August to March each year. Hop on! We're going on an adventure! So everybody, my name is Leon and I will be your tour guide today. Our bus driver down here, his name is Craig. So everybody say hi to Craig. Hi. So our journey today is going to start through this amazing scenic car park. This car park changes every single day with different makes and models of cars, different colours <laughs> as well. So you can see today that we're looking pretty bright out there. Oh look, we've got a blue car everybody! <laughs> Yeah, I know it's not that interesting, so our journey today is actually going to start through the Alexander family farm. So that farm it is 1,250 acres or 500 hectares if you would prefer that instead. side of the bus. You're going to get your first glimpse of our movie set today. Past that lamppost that you can see, he holds his contract out to the side of him and screams his famous five words. Do you guys know what those words are? Here, Mr. Bilbo, where are you off to? Stop. I'm already late. Late for what? I'm going on an adventure! He's out! I'm am going, going on an adventure! <laughs> so if anybody here would like to recreate that scene for us today, feel free to do so, right? Come on, we're not going to judge you. If you don't want to do it in front of us, all that's fine as well. We're going to stay facing this way. We're going to put our fingers in our ears. We're never going to hear you.
The Tewaihu Walkway is a distance of 4.7 kilometers with an average walking time of 1.5 hours or 3 hours return. The Blue Spring at the Waihu Walkway is internationally acclaimed with water, so pure it supplies around 60% of New Zealand's bottled water. The spring is fed from the Mamaku Plateau, where the water takes up to 100 years to filter through. The resulting water is so pure and clean that it produces a beautiful color while being virtually clear. Open Sanctuary. Located a 90-minute drive north of Auckland, the sanctuary encompasses the Tafaranui Peninsula and is currently home to eight Takahe. The vision for Tafaranui is an open sanctuary where visitors can freely experience a representative range of natural communities that would have originally been present on the Tafaranui Peninsula. Part of this vision is to restore South Island Takahe. At Tafara Nui as an ecological surrogate for the extinct North Island Takahe. The sanctuary maintains an environment with low pest numbers behind a 2.5 kilometer excluder pest proof fence running from coast to coast across the peninsula near the park boundary. Core predators like cats, dogs, and mustelids have been eradicated from Tafara Nui. See how far the waves break out there, and they like that all the way in. They're pretty calm today, actually. Ooh. In the winter, those waves can be five times the height. And the discoloration in the sea there—that's plankton. So we're now running parallel with State Highway One, which is only maybe five or six kilometres to our right. That's fairly typical in the far north. The west coast pretty flat and straight. The east coast, lots of hills and turns. Hello everyone. We are here in what they call the 90 mile beach. This is not really 90 mile beach. They say distance is only 55 to 60 miles. The story was uh, when the Europeans arrived here, they used cattle and horses to measure the beach in Europe. Consider the sand. <laughs> Maybe not quite so hard. Hands on the front. That's it, right? Use your feet. Use your feet. Woo! Woo! Yay, Wapa! Video! <laughs> <laughs> Tepaki is home to a wide range of native plants and animals, 
with easy access to great campgrounds, walking tracks, and many recreation opportunities. You will enjoy the outstanding panoramic views and pay respect to a site steeped in Maori tradition on a short stroll to an iconic lighthouse. You will also witness here a rare and powerful thing, the meeting of two bodies of water, the Tasman Sea and the Pacific Ocean. The tides raise each other in a display of awesome ocean strength. This is the iconic Cape Rianga Lighthouse. It was built in 1941 and in 1987 it was fully automated and monitored remotely from Wellington. The beacon is powered by batteries that are recharged by solar cells. The beacon flashes every 12 seconds and can be seen for 19 nautical miles or 35 kilometers. service tapos kita mo walang 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 eh oh, oh walang cashier so yes yeah, sa Pilipinas <laughs> wala naman pati sa lamin may pupunas eh documenting our visit here. Okay, right, right. <laughs> I do travel. This well. is our first time. It's our 10 year anniversary. Ah, oh, <laughs> your anniversary? On me. On me. We'll be here Thanks. for a month. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>
This is the first time this law has seen a little dog for thousands of years. Woodworker.